Thank you for tuning in to me opening up random trading cards. And this episode is going to be focusing on random uh, trading cards for superheroes. So this also came from that eBay lot that I got. And so there's a bunch of ones that were just related to superheroes. So I put them all together. So, so we've got Batman, Saga of the Dark Knight trading cards. It looks like a decent kind of quality, newer thing, Skybox. Yeah. Starlog. I had to look this up. I had no idea what this was. And it's was apparently like a magazine or something that used to come out. And it had all sorts of stuff. So this could have Star Wars stuff in it. Or it had a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, nine card pack with randomly inserted Space Fantastic promo cards and hologram cards. So there's a chance to get something cool. Hologram offer, it says. Special hologram offer, what is it? Mail us five Starlog trading card wrappers along with $3 to receive your gold Starlog hologram card. Ooh, I bet you that was a probably a pretty cool looking card. I'm jealous, but anyway. Uh, the Rocketeer, eight glossy movie cards. So that's probably their finished, but this is still old school. It's that old school wrapper type. Probably tops, must be, yeah, tops. What was this? WCM, never heard of that, WCM. Batman Returns, Top Stadium Club, 15 super premium movie cards. There's not just movie cards, they're not just premium, they're super premium, so they've got to be good or else that's false advertising. But they are that old school pack, which tells me they're probably just a glossy, like this says glossy, they're probably just a glossy cardboard that feels not good. But should be interesting. Superman 2. These I can tell are the old school cardboard kind. It's got gum in it. Oh, it's not in two pieces like some of the other gum was. 11 movie picture cards. One sticker, one sticker of bubble gum. Oh, so these actually come with a little bit more cards and one sticker than those other Indiana Jones ones had. Interesting. Bazooka. Oh, I actually remember Bazooka when it looked like that. That's. I feel old. Batman, number one movie hit, Tops. That's a really old Tops label too. That tells me that these are probably older than these. Interesting. The number one mo hit movie, Batman. Nine cards, one sticker, so less cards too. Old school. This one's still got the glue on it, so it hasn't been tampered with. Well, could could just have been re-glued. They took all my good cards. No, I'm just kidding. Right? Don't suspect any of these tampered with that. The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Four trading cards. That's pretty chintzy. One coloring card. So about five cards then, or one of them's a coloring card. It doesn't say. Buy Skybox. And it feels pretty thin too. It feels like there's nothing in there. All right. So let's open this up. Let's start with the cardboardy cards. Let's end with the the one that states that there might be a foily in hopes that that gets us a foily again but we may have ran out of luck in the last one where i got that super duper sweet foily uh jurassic park card which was absolutely of legendary status okay let's start with batman the old school tops one with the gum and here it went rattling around there open this puppy up There it is. Oh, so you know what's interesting is it's not as big of a piece of gum as the other ones, which was kind of a, you could tell this was just a stick where the other one was almost twice the size. Interesting, they started cheaping out on the gum. That's quite interesting. Or maybe this is older than the thing and they didn't put as much gum. I don't know, interesting. But either way, that's not as much gum as has been in some of the other gum packs. Uh, super cheap. But I guess it didn't proclaim anything great. But you can tell they're the unfinished cardboard variant, which I think all old school cards must seem to be. Batmobile hasn't lost a wheel, it looks like. At the Flugheim. I don't know if that's even close to how you pronounce it. Outrageous Assaults. Meeting the host. What's on the back of these? Oh, yeah, just information stuff. I'm not going to bother with that. Comedy Joker. The Batmobile. Another Batmobile card. Holding Batman at bay. Hang on, Vicky. The mysterious mad hunter. Man hunter, I can read, I swear. In Batman's clutches. I had to make sure they squeezed that trademark in between the S. Just in case. Just so anybody knew that Batman wasn't like, you can't just make Batman. It, it's theirs. Superman 2. 
open up this sucker up. Oh, already Superman's getting kicked. Oh, so here we go. See, this is a lot more gum. So they did eventually, and this is the newer tops thing. So I guess the old ones had less gum. They eventually got this bigger gum. I'm not going to bother smelling it because I already know they don't smell like, but it probably tasted like bubble gum gum. Getting a boot out of Ursa. I don't recall seeing this movie. Oh, the backs are pictures that make a bigger thing. So no. speeding across the world. That does doesn't look like Superman. I'm not at all sure what's going on in this picture. A checklist card, which should be banned. Like, that shouldn't count as a card. I don't know why some trading cards do that. Superman's Great Sacrifice. I don't know what he's sacrificing. I haven't seen this movie. Kryptonian Crystal Bank Archives. Young Jimmy Olsen. The villain's trump card. Oh, that's the villain. That's the guy that's flying. So he can fly too? Oh, are these stickers? Oh. A staff of the Daily Planet. These are definitely some sort of sticker. You can see they got a border to them. It's a little bit kind of glossier than the other cards too. Interesting. Flying the American flag. Look at that. It looks like a painting though. It's not a shot from the thing. Defender of Liberty. Lois Lane hostage. This movie looks definitely old school. Oh, this is... Wait, we got a duplicate from the same pack? That is interesting. That's also something that I've seen the Shopkins cards there. That, that shouldn't be a thing. A checklists counting as cards and duplicates in the same pack. Wait, I don't know if that was the Shopkins. I don't remember what that was, but something had duplicates in there. Here's what your completed orange border puzzle will look like. Oh, and it tells you what all the backs of these will look like. It'll look like a picture of this dude. Why wouldn't you want a picture of Superman? Like, these are Superman cards. No, why, why? You think people aren't going to want a picture of Superman, not the enemy? Like, that's bad call. But hey, they didn't have me on board or I would have warned them. I would have said that's a bad idea. Batman Returns. These are super premium movie cards, so they have to be good, or else that's false advertising. They are already, I can tell they are pretty fairly premium. I don't know about super premium yet, but I can tell they're like the good finished card. They're not the cheap cardboard. The, both sides look like the back. I don't know where to start. Oh, okay, these are definitely interesting. They have a holographic kind of printing of the Batman Returns movie. The art is quite interesting, too, actually. I, uh, I'm i going to give these the stamp of approval. These are super premium. Each card has a hologram, kind of not a hologram, but a, a nice print. They've done some effort to make an interesting image on the card instead of just uh, boring nothingness. Cat woman on this crazy, really ballin' bed. Look at that. That's such a nice bed frame. Holy cow. Another cat woman. Chair. Totally not a prop chair. Batman returns. I'm not gonna show that. Oh, yeah, I guess I show the backs when I get to them. This. Hey, oh, yeah, they're pretty similar cards, but okay. They. Take both angles there, I guess. It's gonna fly into that. I haven't seen this movie too. At this point, people are gonna think I just never seen any movies as a kid, which is, I guess, fairly, fairly true. Look at that chair and that table. Gosh, look how sweet that is. There's like a carved base in the leg, and oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. That is gorgeous. Penguin, you've got some really nice taste in furniture, my friend. That, that you do. I will give you that. Um, another duplicate? Why does this happen? Interesting. This guy? This is, I don't know if I'd give this a good image, but hey, if there's this guy, at least he's like, hey, there's a trading card of me. That's probably the only person I'd be interested in it. Where are those? Little penguins? Oh, I guess he had an army of penguins or something. All right. These are pretty cool, though. <clears throat> Oh, Batmobile blasting on. Oh, it looks weird for the Batmobile. I don't really know what that is. Does it say what it is? 
for the biggest thrills. Bad movies, amazing bad movie. Oh, I guess it was, but it looks different. It looks weird. Batman Returns. All right, interesting. Well, they were definitely more premium, I guess, compared to cards of the day. I guess that's how they can justify the super premium. They, Each of them were, was printed with that kind of shiny thing, and yeah, it was nice. The Rocketeer. Eight glossy movie cards, one sticker. It's like the same packaging as those gum cards come in, except the, they stopped with the gum, I guess. They're like, nobody eats the gum anymore. It's gross. I don't know. Maybe it was good. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Oh, this is great already. We got uh, the, one of those cards that makes you want to try to collect everything, I guess. It's somebody's foot stepping on something. The Rocketeer. Is Fury Unleashed? Bigelow's Bands. And they are kind of glossy, actually. They are actually are a little bit glossier, but the back is just a regular kind of cardboard. The Devils are the Damsel. Well, it's not as cheap as the cardboard as like those really old school ones, though. You can tell the cards have started to come a little ways here. These are generally uninteresting, though, but maybe it's because I also have no reference to this movie whatsoever. Nazis in the news. There's lots of Nazi movies around this time. His first flight. It's Rocket Man's first flight. These were really boring cards, probably the least interesting of today, but I don't know, whatever, let's see. We still got some actually pretty cool ones left, though. We got Adventures of Batman and Robin. These are the Skybox cards, four of them in there, one sticker. I can actually remember getting a sticker for that Rocketeer pack. Okay, so Batman and Robin, interesting, okay. It's like comic art. It's not bad. Oh, and here's the color card. Cat one, but again, you gotta have some serious skills to be able to color in on a card like this. Facts have anything interesting? No, just a little bit of information. On... Wait, who's do you guys know? Interesting, the image on the front is different, but on the back, they both say Case 570. Oh, but they still have different Oh, 67, 16. Ah, okay, very confusing. Interesting. I wonder if that was some sort of typo. Anyway. Um, here we go with Batman. Saga of the Dark Knight trading cards. Another skybox pack. It looks like a kind of a good type of plastic, a newer, more modern card. I don't know. It seems like a chip bag. It's one of the chip bag cards. Oh, very similar to the other ones, except a little bit crisper arts. Nightfall. They all just say Nightfall, I guess. Robin's like, no, don't beat him up! That's a pretty evil-looking Batman. Oh, I guess this was Dark Knight, though. Right? Yeah, it was Saga of the Dark Knight. Okay, interesting. So, it's old school Dark Knight stuff. The Death in the Family. I don't know. Oh, this one's pretty graphic. Joker spitting out the ketchup from the hot dog he just finished earlier. He was just didn't like it. It was the worst ketchup he's ever eaten. This guy's trying to drink a glass of milk and Robin's like, hey, put that down. I want to take out the garbage. Oh no, there's a guy's face there. Robin. Oh, so Robin's evil too. So interesting. There's interesting stuff here. Funky face. Everyone, these are kind of interesting. These were kind of dark. I think these are pretty some of the most dark cards that we've opened so far. But I guess Dark Knight is dark. I haven't seen those movies either. I know those are pretty popular movies. Starlog! The nine card pack with randomly inserted space fantastic promo cards. 
I don't know what I'm more excited for, a hologram card or a Space Fantastic promo card. Probably a hologram card, but I would love a Space Fantastic promo card. In fact, at this point, I just like anything slightly cool. These cards are kind of cool. That would be acceptable, too. All right, they're the type that have the collect all the pictures. I guess that was a very common thing. Starlog, yeah, it's like some sort of magazine. See, I mentioned it might have Star Wars stuff, and here we go. First thing, Mark Hamill, Jedi Returns. It's like the cover of a... Is this a two? Oh my gosh. First thing we see when we open this pack is doubles. I, 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 I'm just speechless. Like, no. No. There's got to be some sort of regulation of these packs. David Hasselhoff. The Ultimate Knight Rider. Oh, these are pretty cool things, though. That's pretty neat. Ah, oh, these are sticking together, though. Trouble in China, I don't remember what they call that. Batman Returns. These are really kind of neat, the way their magazine covers. It would have been really cool if we got a foil, which we did not, especially if it was a Star Wars. Oh, especially if it was an iconic. Okay, as it stands, though, this is a really neat card. I quite like this card. In fact, this is actually one of the one of my favorite cards we've pulled so far. It's the image of the issue they came out with at the time. Really neat. I'll probably put this up somewhere just on my wall or something. But other than that, these cards weren't too new and worthy. Actually, I kind of like these Star Log cards. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually going to do a quick kind of pan so you can see they're they're all kind of covers of, I guess, the old Starlog magazine, which I'm not familiar with, but they're they're quite interesting. I, I actually kind of am quite sad I didn't get a foil of these, because I think it would be really cool to see what a foil of these looked like. If I ever find more Starlog, I think I might pick it up, because these are quite interesting. What is this? Oh, it's kind of a card that tells you what you could have gotten. Knight Rider, Superman 3, Return of the Jedi. Oh, Ghostbusters. There's actually some quite interesting stuff. Okay. This is actually quite noteworthy. I think I will look into these again if I can see them. Maybe I can just get this free bonus star log card. Anyway, um, thanks for watching again. Maybe next time I'll get a super shiny card. There were some cool cards here though, but until next time, see ya.